Bum 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 bum. My brain, my brain is so small. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, okay. My brain is so small. Okay, I'm Joey Arnold, and this is American English. And today we're going to talk about how to learn and remember vocabulary words. So, what do you do? What do you do? How do you remember? All the words. It takes a lot of, a lot of time. It really does take a lot of time. Too often we're so in a hurry to remember something just one time, and we think we can remember it forever. But if you don't use it, you lose it. And it's very important that we continue to use it. Otherwise, we're probably going to. Lose it eventually.、Uh, sometimes I I meet people, and、uh, they they know English, but they're like、uh, out of practice. It's like Michael Jordan. He played basketball in the NBA National Basketball Association, and and he、um, he retired about two times, three times. Okay, three times, and.、Um, You know when when you know even even the other players they um they go to their summer break and um they 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 uh so, they usually don't practice and then they come back and they're like out of practice and it's not so good so you gotta you gotta stay with it you gotta stick with the program ah、uh, it's really important that you stick with the program you got to review stick stick with it. Stick with it. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep trying. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. You gotta try. You, you need not fail. But even if you fail, it's okay. You can get back up and try again. Man, you can try again. You don't have to worry, man. You can do it. You can do it, man.、Um, you can do it. This is me trying to encourage you. But let me tell you something. Review is important. That means you go back to it and you try to、uh, think about it again. You try to learn it again.、Uh, try to help yourself remember it again. You use a repetition and you say the words again and again and again. And try to think about it with your brain. Try to find connections or roads to the words, to the things that you're learning, and try to make it. Make sense. It needs to make sense in your brain, even if it doesn't make sense with other people. I mean, hopefully, it makes sense with other people,、uh, but there's no guarantee. So the most important thing is that it makes sense inside your own brain, that that you understand it, so that you can remember it better. You have to find something that's、uh, logical for you,、uh, for the way that you think, for the system that is inside your brain. Because we are all different as people, we have a lot of similar similarities. We have a lot of similarities, but we tend to have a lot of、uh, differences as well. So we have to be okay with that. We really got to be okay with that. We can't just think to ourselves, "We're all the same, and we all have to learn the same and remember things the same." We got to try a little with、um, doing things our own. Way at our own level, our own speed, our own pace. We really gotta try to remember that we're not the same. Maybe your friend is like a、uh, a rabbit, and he hops up and down. Not really a rabbit, but he's different than you. And you're like a、uh, you're like a dog. That's more like a like a wolf. A wolf is like a dog too, but、um, it's like you're not a rabbit. You're a dog. Or prof, you know. So it's important to remember, you know, it's like that you're not like them. You're not like them, and and you gotta you gotta try new things. You gotta try different things, and the more things you try, the more likely you'll remember the things that you're trying to remember. You know, make it fun. Like you know, dance a little, sing a little, do something creative. Learning. Does not always have to be so boring. So you gotta have review and repetition and、uh, revisitation.
revisitation. That's that's where you go back and you visit the words again. It's it's similar to reviewing and repetition, and you gotta stick with it, and you gotta find the different things to help you remember the words. You gotta find games and music and pictures and ideas and flashcards. Flashcards are the pictures with the with the words, with the vocabulary words on them. You could look at them. They could have the words in the different languages. It could be in English and then it could be in your in your mother tongue. And that can that can help you. It can help you. Uh, because our brains are mostly visual. You know, we we think about the pictures and 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 that's what our memories are. Most of our memories are just like a pictures. And you know, when you think of stuff, you just you mostly see the pictures. Sometimes you hear the sounds, but it's mostly just pictures. And so pictures can really help us remember things. And then we have to find a way to connect the the ideas and the pictures with uh, with words, with vocabulary, with other things that we're trying to remember. And and you got to find different different ways uh, to remember things, different connections. It's it's very important that we don't just stick to just one thing. You know, we can't just stick to one thing and think like, oh man, we're gonna remember just one thing. You know, because that one thing we may forget in the one way. So it's like we had to go back and and find other ways because because what if you know what if you forget it. From that one way of remembering, then you totally lost it. So, so you need to have like a like a backup plan. It's like it's like a bank, you know. It's like a lock. It helps you, you know, remember it. It really helps you save the information and remember the information in case you forget something because you never know what you're going to forget. Like me, I forget things all the time. And, and like, I don't really want to tell you that. I don't want to admit that to people, but I'm sorry to say, but I'm not perfect. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Sorry, but I'm not perfect, so I forget things sometimes. It's, it's embarrassing. My face turns red. I'm blushing. I'm sad. I'm scared like a little girl on her first day to school. Like, oh my god. Like, oh no. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna make a mistake? Maybe, but it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Keep trying. Don't quit. Keep going. You can do this. Take it from a man who had a lot of trouble with a lot of things when he was younger. I'm talking about me. If you don't know, when I was younger, it was very hard because I couldn't really hear very well, and then. I had to go to the hospital in America about 1986 when I was one, and they put the hearing tubes in my ears to help me hear. But it was still hard, and, and like I was trying to learn how to talk. Uh, but because I couldn't hear very well, I would learn incorrectly. You know, when you're young, the first few years of your life, you really need to hear the sounds to be able to copy them better. But if you can't, Then you're gonna have a trouble, and my mother was there for me, and, and she helped me a lot, like like a tutor, and it was very 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 uh, valuable and and fundamental, and she homeschooled me until I was 15 years old, and um, and, and she helped me, so I, I went on my own level, my own speed, and, and it was really good, and and then I started improving, and then they took the the tubes out, and my ears started getting better when I was about 10 years old, and so it, it it was hard, but I kept on going, and things got better. And so for you, you should not stop no matter what. There's a lot of other inspirational um, people in the world that you can read about, you can watch videos about it. Like there's a guy named uh, Nick. You may know him. He doesn't have any arms or legs, but he got married. He he like, he like married a um, Japanese woman, and they have like a baby, and um, that should be able to 
motivate you and it inspires you. It, it should be able to. It actually kind of make, makes me feel kind of bad because I'm like, oh man, I have arms and legs and I don't have a wife, man. But, um, but it's okay. It's okay, man. You got to keep on trying. So you got to use as many different things as possible to remember things. The games, music, pictures, ideas, flash cards. Um, you, you go to youtube.com. Uh, watch videos with subtitles and and try to get into it. When you when you learn another language like English, you got to be in it. You got you got you got you know you really got to be like drowning in it. So this is the water, you know. You got the water here, and 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 this is you, and you are up here, and and you are dry. D R Y. You are dry. You got to go in. You got to dive in. Go into the water. So you D I V E dive. And now you're in the water. You are immersed in the water. You're in the water. Immersed. You're immersed in the water. You're in the water. So the water means English. Okay? You're inside English. The, the water is English and you have to be all around the English in order to remember it. You can't just like think about it and only learn it for like 10 minutes a day. You got to spend more time and, and it has to be important. So when you learn new words, new vocabulary words, the, the words really need to be very important. And if the words are not like very important, you're going to forget them. And I'm sorry, but you're going to forget them. So you have to find ways to make them count and to make them very important. Like for me, I'm learning Vietnamese in, in Vietnam. I come from America. And, and one of the first words I learn is the word for no is a com, com, com. And you go like this and you shake your head. And no is an important word. And, and you remember it. And... You remember the way that it feels when you say it. So when you learn new words, you you remember all the things that are connected to the new word. And when I learn Vietnamese, I start to feel like I'm becoming a Vietnamese person. So when you start to learn English, for example, you start to become like an English person. Like for like you know, if you really want to uh, learn American English, then then you will probably start to uh, feel like an American as you're learning more American English, and then then you'll walk around and like and say things like I'm an American. I know I know one guy. He's 20 years old, and and I think he lives in District One. Oh, Ho Chi Minh City, and um, he tells me things like, "I I'm more American than you are," and I'm like, "What? You've never been to America?" But you know, he starts to feel that way because he's learning English. So, so it, it really has to be important. You got to find as many connections as possible to help you remember new words and your heart is there to care so you really need to have a heart that cares so your heart needs to be in it don't just do it because somebody told you to do it you really have to believe in it you got to be passionate you got to try your best to to do do it so you got to be self motivated to learn the new words you got to have the passion and the will to succeed uh, you cannot say Oh, maybe I'll forget it. You, 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 you cannot really think like that. You gotta think like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to remember new things and new words and, and I'm not gonna stop until it's done. And, um, and then you have to have the soul to try. Try new things. And, um, you have to have the brain for maintaining those words. And you have to try your best to maintain them. And, and you gotta build on what you know. So when you're learning new things and new words, you got to, you got to really 
uh, start with the words you already know uh, to learn new words. For example, revisitation. You think to yourself, what is this word, revisitation? How do I remember? You need to um, break the words apart, like this. You see this, and uh, you try to try to look look at this word. Look at this word. Uh, re re, and I take off the re. R e, erase it. Okay, and and then visitation. Take off the ation, and then you have the word visit. And this is the is the root. This is the root of the word. And so when you learn new words, it's very important that you remember and study the roots of the words and you learn like parts of the words like for example de de in a word means like like no or something bad like you have the word delete uh destroy uh demise there there's many many words that start with those two letters D E and so try your best and keep going don't stop thank you for watching